Hello you guys, welcome back. I am so excited. It is finally October and it's starting to feel a little bit more like fall around here. Not necessarily the weather, because it is definitely hot and sweaty still. <laughs> I cannot wait for the cooler temps, but the vibes, the vibes are there and I am all about it. This is always like my favorite time of year. Everything just feels so nice and cozy. The books, the food, the soups, the treats, I'm all about it. So anyways, today I am actually, I need to finish getting ready and change. Although my shirt is very, very cute. It says Hot Girls Read. It's from The Bookish Goods. Very adorable. But I need to change and put some real pants on for the first time in uh, quite a while. Because I have had my eye on this bag. And it's from Coach. It's kind of like the it bag of the moment. I am seeing it everywhere. And I love it. It is so freaking cute. So today I want to go to the coach store and see if they have it in store so I can try it on before I fully commit because it's definitely like a splurgy sort of bag. We will see, but I also kind of want to bounce around the other stores in the mall and just see what's new in fall fashion and also other bags. Like I'm still open to other kinds of bags. What I'm really looking for is like a nice fall staple, more specifically like a brown bag. For some reason I don't own one. So that is really the only thing that I'm truly looking for today. So we'll see what we find. By the way, I have to share my current addiction because this is the best Olipop flavor I've ever had. This is the, I'm assuming it's seasonal for fall, but it's the crisp apple flavor and I will riot if they get rid of it. Obviously, if it's seasonal, you know, they will. And I'm gonna be so sad. It's so good. It is so, so delicious and fresh. I'm gonna stockpile these because I, how am I gonna live without them? Anyways, let's get changed and go shopping. Okay, you guys, we went into Coach and they had the bag in the size that I want, but not the color. So I did get to try it on and I like it a lot. I also saw that they have an even smaller version, but I think I'm going to go to Dillard's and see if they have the color because I'm kind of looking at like the suede one or the darker stone color. It's kind of like a taupey brown, but we'll see. I don't know if Dillard's will have any of them in store, but... I know that I like the size and how it looks on my arm, so I'll probably order it when I get home either way. <laughs> Dillard's did not have it. I knew they wouldn't, so online shopping it is. Good morning, you guys. I have an update. Last night, we went to both Coach and Dillard's trying to find that bag that I had my eye on, and both stores had it. Um, it's called like the Brooklyn 28 or something. I don't know. It's that little shoulder bag, but they didn't have it in the color that I wanted. I was kind of eyeballing the suede or the dark stone, and neither store had it. But I did really like how it looked when I tried it on. But we also popped into Madewell, and they had these really cute, like, bucket totes that also looked so cute. So, I don't know, I was very conflicted. And I did like the size of the Madewell one. It was a little bit bigger than the Coach one, and also half the price. So I was like, ooh, I don't know. So I ended up ordering, coming home and ordering two different versions of the Madewell bag because they didn't have brown in store. I'm like, the whole point, I want a brown bag. And then I went online to try to see if I could order the Coach bag. I'm not keeping all these bags. I just wanted to like try them all on. But I ended up finding a different Coach bag instead that was actually on the outlet. So again, 
cheaper. It also came in suede and it looks like it's just a touch bigger than the Brooklyn bag. I ordered all three bags and when they get here, I'm going to see which one I'll keep. Anyways, having my second cup of coffee of the day and I use the Silk brand pumpkin spice creamer. I am in love with this stuff. This one's actually dairy free and they have this in like a, I think it's called like sweet cream or something and that's my usual. But this one is obviously so great for fall and it's not like too artificially pumpkin or like super super sweet it is so delicious i just finished my hair and makeup i'm about to get dressed and then i need to i don't even know what time it is honestly i'm supposed to be meeting my mom this afternoon to go to trader joe's since they finally have all of the fall goods out i have like an hour and a half before i need to meet her but i'm so excited because last time i think last time i vlogged going to trader joe's as well but I went hoping that they had their fall stuff and it was just a tad too early. So I'm excited to see all of the little treats. Just changed and now I am all ready to go. Look at this little guy. What you doing? You wanna say hi? Everyone's here to say goodbye. I'll be home soon. not a very satisfying <laughs> Trader Joe's haul. I'm still gonna have to go to the grocery store because I I got nothing. I bought nothing. And don't get me wrong, they had all the goodies out. I did get my fave donuts again, but it was just so overwhelming in there today. It was packed. Like there's only two Trader Joe's in Austin and they're very teeny tiny. So I feel like everybody just congregates at this one. It was madness in there. And then there's like a lot of things that like I just don't need. Like, do I need the cinnamon bun spread? No, cause I'll eat the whole jar. So I really only got those donuts and then I got some turkey meat for dinner tonight. I'm having some friends over this weekend. So I got the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip and some crackers, snickerdoodle cookies. And these are so cute. I love when they have these little mousse cakes. They're always like different shapes based on the season. So these are chocolate mousse pumpkins these are the most delicious things ever. I probably should have bought two packs. I only have six in here. So this is probably not enough for everybody this weekend. I might have to go back and get a second container or honestly, just keep them for myself. And then yeah, turkey meat. I'm gonna make chili for dinner tonight even though I'm sweating right now. It is so hot. Oh, and I can't go to Trader Joe's without picking up some flowers. I would have definitely got more, but as I was perusing the little flower section, this woman is like, I swear to God, her head is like on my shoulder. I thought it was my mom at first, because I was like, who else would be this close to me? No. And she didn't say a word. There was no, sorry, excuse me, let me get in here. No, just a lady on my shoulder. So I skedaddled, but how pretty are these? It is 3.30 on the dot right now, so I think I'm actually going to get started on the chili, probably brown the turkey really quick, and then I'm just gonna throw everything into the crock pot, so easy, ready in a couple hours. I got stuff to make cornbread too, but I'll make that closer to the time that we eat, so it's fresh. Chili is cooking. I ended up changing because it is just so hot. I can't believe I have to eat chili in this weather. I am going to read for a little bit while that cooks before I have to get started on the cornbread and like grating the cheese and all of that jazz. I started this book. I just finished The Love of My Afterlife, which is like a quirky rom-com and it was actually really, really cute. This one, I, this is actually not even on my fall TBR if you guys just watched that video I had actually just taken every single book off my bookshelf It's in giant piles on the floor right now because I am finally going to set up my Home library this weekend. I need to go to Ikea and get the shelves, but I will finally have enough space to store everything nicely um, So anyways, all of my books are just stacked on the floor right now and I don't really know 
where any of them are and I just didn't want to dig through the stack so this one was on one of the top of the piles I've had it for a little while now um, it sounds like a cute kind of mindless read which is what I've been looking for lately I'm not super far into it yet let's see I'm on page 77 right now it follows three different women and they all are getting started on the wife app so I'm not necessarily sure what the wife app entails quite yet but we'll see so far so good i like the characters so far honestly it just feels nice to be back into the mood for reading because it has not been that way for a while so i'm just trying to take advantage of reading anything right now never guess where I am right now I just pulled in to Barnes and Noble because my book club voted for a book that I do not own so I wanted to pick it up today and today is also the release of Lynn Painter's follow-up to better than the movies nothing like the movies and I really really loved better than the movies so I'm gonna try to find that one while I'm here today as well here are the poll results for book club the pumpkin spice cafe is the winner so that is what we are looking for sounds very cute to very fall but today will be a test of restraint that I only <laughs> purchased those two let's go find them I flopped unfortunately they did not have the pumpkin spice cafe which is so weird because I had checked I thought yesterday but maybe it was the day before on the Barnes & Noble app to see if they had it here it said in stock so people are snatching them up and I told you guys I did go for the new Lynn Painter book which they did have and they did have like a Barnes & Noble special edition but I decided not to buy it because it is a hardcover and like a short chunky hardcover which is exactly what they did with Lynn Painter's Betting on You and I just do not like how it looks with the rest of my Lynn Painter collection I want everything to be uniform so it looks like they have the paperback version and the pumpkin spice cafe on Amazon so I'm just gonna have to order both of them but I did actually end up getting betting on you I got it in the paperback and it has like these cute little painted or sprayed edges they're really really cute this is perfect this will look so much better with the rest of my Lynn Painter collection so I'm gonna swap this out with the little chunky hardcover that I currently have but I love the little special edition pages so precious so I grabbed that and then you guys look how cute this is I mean how could I not take this home this is so cute I really I just wanted to peruse this magazine but also I think this would be really cute like on display <laughs> so that is my mini haul it has been another shopping adventure of looking for something specific and then leaving with something completely different that is the theme of this week's vlog I did also get a pumpkin cream chai while I was there I loved these last year but I haven't had one all season so very excited it is so delicious it's so sweet honestly a successful trip even though i did not get what i came here for i told you guys the other day that i had taken all of the books off my bookshelves and they are just in ginormous stacks as you can see behind me but i'm really really excited because this weekend is finally the weekend that i am revamping this space and basically here we move here's what the craziness looks like now as you can see the black shelves are empty once i get the new bookshelves they'll be the exact same as that white one and it'll just be like the whole back wall so i think it'll look really nice it'll obviously give me a lot more space to grow my collection of books but also like display a little bit more than books so it doesn't look so crammed i cannot wait in the meantime this is what my life looks like bags are here and they are stunning look at these fall tones i'm obsessed honestly i do think i know which one i'm going to keep but it was a close call because they're all so cute these are the two that i ordered from madewell they're both very very similar like the same sort of style this one's obviously a little bit darker and it has like this buckle strap where you can shorten it a little bit if you want but 
I just think it looks so chic and so cute. I love the size of these. And then this one's a little bit more of like a milk chocolate, which I kind of like this color a little bit more because I feel like I have more to match with it. The same thing, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, which I prefer a shoulder bag, I think. But this one does also have the detachable strap to wear as a crossbody as well. And I always like having the option. So that's actually pretty cute. I just, I feel like this is the clear winner for me just because i love the size every day this is probably more practical and i just love i love a shoulder bag plus the original coach bag that i was looking for i kind of wanted it in the suede i don't own anything else suede so yeah i think this is the one for me and that is the conclusion to the bag chronicles i hope that you enjoy i hope that you like what i chose but moving on from that i don't know if you could tell the chaos behind me. This is a pretty generous angle. My kitchen is in shambles. What's new? My house is always in shambles. I'm a naturally messy person, but this week, I don't know, things are out of, out of control. We've been doing a lot of like random house projects and like moving things around, getting rid of certain things. I just feel like we have stuff absolutely everywhere right now and it's a little bit crazy. The kitchen, the kitchen I have no excuse. I, that's just mess. And tomorrow is going to be a little bit of a busy day. We have to take Boba to the eye doctor bright and early. And I'm gonna head to the mall and return those Madewell bags because I feel like if they sit in the house any longer, like I'm just going to keep them and I cannot do that. <laughs> and then our friends are coming over tomorrow. So that will be really fun, but I gotta get this house in order. <laughs> but tonight is going to be a little bit of a home reset. Cleaning, organizing, finishing up all of my laundry. I have so much laundry right now. Not exactly the most fun evening, but extremely necessary. <laughs> edition of Beach Read, which is my absolute favorite Emily Henry book. Probably one of my favorite books of all time. The pages are sprayed like this sunsetty sort of vibe. I don't know. It is so, so beautiful. The actual book is also yellow and the quote on it, it says, I feel overwhelmed that you exist. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited to get my new shelves and be able to display this with all of my other Emily Henry books. Ah, so cute. That is so freaking exciting! Anyways, Hugo and I just finished cleaning up the downstairs. We still have more to do. <laughs> we'll do that when we get back, but we're gonna go take the dogs for a spin around the block, stretch our legs. Who's ready? I'm ready! <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Okay, God. That first voice was Boba. <laughs> morning you guys hugo and i are headed back to barnes and noble because i checked this morning and they have the pumpkin spice cafe back in stock so we are going to pick it up and today is an exciting day we're going it's actually acl weekend so i'm a little terrified because we're going downtown to meet up with some of hugo's family we're gonna grab some lunch and then we're going to ikea to pick up my bookshelves and i'm so so excited so it's going to be a very fun day i have a cute little outfit on right now you cannot you cannot tell but bags first day out i love her <laughs> I do feel like this is me. Finally home and we were in luck today, you guys. I did find it. I was so nervous because I was looking in like the G section for Gilmore. Could not find it, so I had to go and ask for it. And the poor lady working the desk was like, ugh. 
yeah, we'll keep asking for that one. And she was like, I think we're out of stock. But she went to the back and there were four left. She was so funny. She was like, honestly, you should just buy them all and resell them. And I was like, girl, I'm okay. This one is a small town spicy romance. So I am definitely intrigued and ready for a sweet, cozy little read. Um, if you guys are reading this one in October or want to read this in October, you can join my book club and read it alongside me and all of my other book club members. I think it will be very, very fun. I always forget to mention that we have a book club and we choose new books each month. We have a little poll. So come join us. Come hang out. But anyways, we also went to Ikea and I got the shelves. So the home library... <sighs> It is commencing soon. It was a little bit of a drama trying to fit all those shelves in my car. I did not think we were going to make it and I was terrified on the ride back home. I don't remember them being one, that ginormous, but two, that heavy. They are so freaking heavy. I don't know how I'm going to carry these upstairs. And honestly, I, I will not be the one carrying them upstairs, but I just... <laughs> They're very heavy. I will definitely be vlogging the new shelves. Someone is actually on their way over in like the next hour and a half to pick up my old bookshelves. I sold them on Facebook Marketplace. So, ah, I can't wait to see the room once it is finally done. And I will be back very soon with a fall reading vlog. And I think I'm going to include this one because with the hype that it has going on, like I'm gonna have to give you guys an update. But thank you guys for hanging out with me this week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.